guys. So today I'm going to actually be doing a um, voiceover for this video, if you cannot tell that by now. Um, a lot of the techniques and stuff I use in this video were ones that I have done before. I'm just using um, the orange shadow scents from the Rainbow Collection and highlighting that. So I figured this would be the easiest way to not bore everybody uh, and still get in the video with the color um, and some information. So let's get started. So as per usual, I have done light concealer under my eyes, um, cream beige foundation, and I'm going to go in with the rustic brown shadow scents for my eyebrows. Um, all of these products are uh, budge proof, sweat proof. Uh, they're not going to, you know, run off of your face when it's 100 degrees and a thousand percent humidity, which we are having right now, which is so wonderful. Um, I don't have to worry about that. Plus, they all have skincare in them, so that's just a win win all around. So, like I said, today I'm doing um, a look featuring the orange from the Rainbow Collection. These products came out, um, I feel like a year and a half ago, maybe, and they were so intimidating when we first got them that I felt like this was something that we needed to do was film videos that show how wearable they can be. Um, so I started with a little bit of peaches, which is also actually a limited edition um, color, but I felt like that would just kind of amp up the orange and give me kind of a transition color. Mocha Java would be a great transition color here as well. Um, I just thought peaches would be fun. So then I did... Um, take the orange and I actually this time took the orange shadow scents over my entire lid even the inner corner um, I just bring it all the way across the entire lid I'm going to do a little pop of shimmer in the center um, just to kind of lighten the look up and give me a spot of brightness but I wanted to do something a touch different with this look um, and that's what I did so then I take garnet and keep that on the outer corner. That's kind of going to give me a more um, smudged out, semi-daytime smoky eye. Um, I don't want anything too dark. But I did take a touch of garnet um, and add it to the outer corner here just to kind of give myself a little bit more dimension. So blend those all out um, and I take the brush that the orange is on and just kind of make sure everything's blended. As I've said before, with shadow scents, you have 60 to 90, 60 to 90 seconds um, before it dries and it's set. So just blending that and getting it where you want um, and then you're not going to have to worry about it the rest of the day. So then I take the sandstone pearl shimmer and use that in the center of my eyelid um, kind of as a halo look but not as intense it's just like a super subtle bright spot right in the center there um, and it kind of makes the whole look less uh, vibrant I don't want I didn't want it to be like super orange in your face that's the whole point is creating these looks to make them show how wearable they can actually be in the real world so I took the sandstone pearl shimmer and did it in the, my inner corner as well and then on my brow bone and am taking some of the orange shadow scents and putting it um, on my lower lash line and then blending in some of the garnet just to kind of pull everything together um, and give me a little bit of a smudged out liner look on that lower lash line as well. So once I have all that done, I'm going back to my face. Um, I will finish my eyes um, with mascara and stuff in a minute, but I'm going to let those shadows completely dry. Um, I'm mixing Whisper Pink Shadow Scents here and Light Concealer. This is going to brighten up under my eye. Plus, I'm using it as a kind of a cleanup tool um, for any of the shadow scents that I pulled out too far on my face. So I just could go from the corner of my eye up to my brow tail um, and kind of create a faux wing with that. And it just cleans up anything that has gotten outside of my, um, the line that I want my eye makeup to stay within. 
So then I am doing lash primer, y'all. Lash primer is life-changing. It is so wonderful. It has an ingredient in it called Capixel, and it actually is going to grow your lashes um, with each use, plus it lengthens them at the time of each use. The mascaras actually both have Capixel in them as well, in them as well so you're literally putting lash serum on every single day as you put mascara on. Um, so then I take and mix pouty pink blush scents and orange shadow scents just to kind of create my own blush that's going to tie together with my eyes and my lips that I'm going to do. Um, that's the great thing about, you know, these cream products is that you can actually blend and create your own colors, um, that you're looking for. So I could have combined and mixed shadow, um, sandstone pearl shimmer and, orange shadow scents to create a more orangey tone for the center of my lash, um, my center of my eye if I wanted to. So I went in with the regular volume intense mascara in black over my lash primer and then I did a layer of nude pink. While the nude pink is drying, I'm going in with waterproof um, volume intense mascara. The wands are different. Um, obviously one is waterproof, but they actually do different things because the wands are different. So one's more volumizing and one is more lengthening. And they, even though, even though they both have pixel in them, um, I love them both for those two different reasons. So I use them both. So I'm going to finish out my lip scents, um, two more layers of nude pink, making that three layers of nude pink. And then I'm going to, um, do papaya gloss on top of that at the end. I'm going to do a little bit of our natural powder, especially, like I said, on humid days. Um, let's just kind of make sure everything is completely set and not going anywhere. And throw on some papaya gloss, and you are good to go for the day. Nothing's moving, and that is your wearable orange look.